the, the most long-term benefit that's traceable to the time that I was gone for three months is the fact that I do not run this place anymore. And that's really a good thing. I mean, it's, it's a healthy whole thing. So as people talk about, with some concern sometimes, about succession plans and what will happen beyond you, uh, that was begun precisely historically in the, those three months that I had the Durfee um, sabbatical because th they were able to start to begin to imagine the place without me, which of course is really important because they have to be able to do that. And that's only deepened as, as I've been gone. A couple of long-term benefits to the organization post sabbatical was that some of the uh, way we approached leadership was able to change. Because often, you know, you want to have something happen, but you really have to set, you can't just say, okay, we're going to do it this way. You, somehow the environment has to shift. So with my being away, there was really room for um, my team, my management team to, uh, to step up. And their confidence grew a lot. And, and that, that really pleased me very much because they were all such capable people. Uh, sometimes the executive director is a little bit in the way. You know, that leader is, you, you can just, not that we're trying to be in the way, but you know, you have a dominant role and you have a lot of responsibility. So the nature of the, of the job is to, to be there and be involved in everything. So there was a shift in that. And to this day, um, 12 years later, uh, we've, we've continued that concept of management team leadership, developing leadership, uh, into other other leaders interfacing with the board of directors, and that's been really important. I think the long-term benefits that came to my organization as a result of my sabbatical was the fact that the management team, the, the seconds in command, uh, know that they need to work better as a team, they need to check in with each other, that we cannot operate in silos, that the organization functions better when we communicate with each other and we make decisions jointly and not in isolation. I think the impact of my sabbatical on human resource policies is that we respect uh, colleagues when they decide to take vacation time and when they decide to take up to three or four weeks at a time, that we understand that time away is time away that's needed. On an organizational level, um, the sabbatical allowed us to restructure so that we can be more strategic. So coming back, I didn't necessarily do all the things that I did before I left. We restructured to um, lead the organization more team-based. So before where I really felt almost bad delegating work, I had to do it during the sabbatical. And when I came back, I didn't have to take it back. Back then we had like 25 staff. Today we have over 50 staff. And I don't think that growth would have occurred um, without this transformation. And so Karen Hall um, was our associate director it allowed us to grow to the point where she's now executive director. We hired another associate director um, underneath her, um, and I was able to move upstairs and serve as president. And um, I think that's something that's really benefited the organization in a big way. It's allowed me to focus more on the things that I enjoy and that I'm better at. Um, and it also allowed Karen to do what she's better at um, and not have any competition between positions. Very clear delineations on the sorts of things she does versus what I do for the organization, and that benefits everybody.